Adventurists, today I am in Arcumeja. I've come to visit some friends I haven't seen for a long time. And since I'm here, I want to follow Simona's tips and visit Villa della Porta Bozzolo, a great country mansion renovated and transformed into an aristocratic dwelling in the 18th century, which was given to the FAI, the Fund for the Italian Environment, from the heirs of the Bozzolo family in 1989. Thanks to the FAI, the villa is today a magnificent example of Villa di Delizia of the 18th century. So just give me the time to understand where to go and I'll take you with me. A nice stroll from Arcumeja, a small village on the Lombard shore of Lake Maggiore, and I get to the park of the villa. The beautiful view that comes up immediately makes me understand the relevance of the place. The Italian garden is majestic, a stunning scenography of sculpted terraces climbing the hill up to the large green meadow and the panoramic viewpoint. Via della Porta Bozzolo has a very long story, evolved for about three centuries, 500, 600, and 700. The appearance of the current villa is the result of many changes. The former villa was called Domus Magna, and at the beginning there were no gardens. The curiosity I always like to say is that this is a wedding gift for Isabella Giulini, Countess of Milan, who is married to Gian Angelo della Porta III in 1711. The dishes here in the dining room are peculiar. They were exposed here because on each piece is painted the Della Porta's family coat of arm. That is an open door with an eagle on the top. But you see there is a fresco right here, because initially this room was a small chapel. When Gian Angelo III commissioned the construction of the church, which is located right outside the villa, this small chapel became pretty much useless, and so they converted it into a dining room. This is one of the oldest rooms, and it's the kitchen. The fireplace on the other side and this dish warmer share a wall. So the chef lit the fire on the other side to cook, and here the servants put the dishes to keep them warm before they served them. Lorenza takes me to the first floor of the villa called the noble floor because once it hosted the private rooms of the family. I can barely describe what I see in front of me. We are on the first floor, also known as the noble floor. This hall is called the gallery, and it's the most decorated room of the dwelling. There is no wall, no spot left blank, from the wooden ceiling to the floor and all the walls. The beds are so high because they needed to stay away from the floor. As you can see, there is no heating. There were no fireplaces, so they used high beds and other expedients to keep them warm, for instance, the curtains. Also, you see, the beds are short because they were not used to sleep lying down on the back. They sat and slept with a lot of cushions behind their back. The reasons are various. At the time, it was not easy to keep in good health and respiratory problems were frequent. 
And also, they were superstitious. They believed that only dead people lay down.